Venya. <laughs> Beat Greninja. Venya will debunk that for you immediately. Immediately. He actually enjoys fighting sword characters, and he says if you can beat me with a sword character, you have my respect. It is so difficult to uh, play against Greninja with a sword character. These these two players go back and forth quite a lot as well. For sure, for sure. Ooh. But I think Venya is up in sets though. Uh, yeah, as of recent. Like so, uh, one thing to talk about is. Venya is right now the only person to have three peated at Xeno in I was Ultimate. I say that. And during that time. Uh, Wait, didn't he three peat and then win the Xeno Saga on the Saturday too? Yeah, but those are separate things. Anyway, that's not a part of my what I'm trying to get at. What I'm trying to get at is that it was these two in Grands. And we saw that he was like on the verge of winning. Just to, just to show how much these guys go back and forth. And Yo! Yeah, that was crazy. That hitbox was huge! Oh, yeah, dude. He takes off his belt, and he, you're just going to your room. <laughs> there was no water. <laughs> there was yeah. no water in that uh, hitbox where he got hit, unless he tried to fare. That was pretty wild. We're going to have to look at that at the end of this match. Nonetheless, Mr. E already down the stock. Venya looking good. Looking good for Venya. Up throw going to put him in a bad situation. He's going to air dodge straight down, missing that whole up air. But this is where he can excel, edge guarding Venya. How do you make it back to the middle of the stage? You just run underneath him. <laughs> Ooh, great reaction. And that's something that goes untalked about when it comes to Mr. E, man. His reaction time is so good. Okay, nice uh, dancing blade to put uh, Venue off stage. No jump. Shadow sneak. Good job by Venue. Getting back to the middle of the stage. Air dodge in. Gonna miss that up B now. Okay, gonna use your jump. No, oh, dead. yeah, he's gone. Yeah, you're dead. That was, that was really good. They, they kind of had like a standoff <laughs> where Venya was just following him. And then he was like, you know what? He's going to push you off a little further. Then. What, what's <laughs> funny is it's like it's a standoff until you realize he doesn't have his jump. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, I'm actually just going to die. <laughs> yeah. So it's like you're just looking at You're splashing him. It's like, yeah, that's just a dead man right yep. there. His only option was probably to neutral air dodge a little bit earlier, but mm -hmm. uh, the, by the time he probably thought of that, he was already so, Yeah, it's just like such a spooky situation. It's like, what can you really do? Ooh, okay. And Venya, not only does that, uh, his up B, uh, bruh, he was at 73 after the hit. After the hit, he was at 73 and he died outright. That's scary, man. A character that can go that far with a move that good and still make it back on stage? There aren't too many characters in this game that have something to deal with that. I mean, he could swing, but then if you swing and you whiff, you're you're definitely dead. Oh. Like, it, it just puts you in such a bad situation when a Greninja uh, kind of like reverse area rushes you off the stage. It's a bad situation. Because even if Venya doesn't hit E, just him recovering puts another, like, the Hydro Pump will put a hitbox or a wind box out there to just give you more problems in returning. And I'm surprised. I'm surprised we're at FD right now. Uh, I would think that E would kind of want to ban this stage, but let's see. Okay. Strong neutral being played by these two right now. Just trying to find their way in. That dash attack going to do it for Venya. And already, he is off stage in a bad situation. Good drift back to avoid that back air. Because if he got hit, 100% would have been dead. Okay. Pivot grab going to put him right back in the mix. What are we doing here? Down air. Nice. Down to Fair. The bread. The butter. Put it on my sandwich. It's good. Good job by Venya. You can kind of see E, and I was just about to say, E is very good at uh, parrying. That's something that you can see he's been working on. And in that exchange, Venya understood, I'm, I'm on top of you. I need to get, I want to get this hit. So let me stall this with an up air or a down air. Yo, that perfectly placed down air, rising down air. So good from the sword characters. All of them, really. Marth, Lucina, Krom, Roy, that rising down air does some damage. Nonetheless, here we go. E putting himself right back in this game because he lost his stock pretty early. So that down there kind of coming in clutch for him. 53% sitting on him right now. Enough, some more neutral being played that. Ooh, that water shuriken. 
gonna uh, cover all options, putting E right back at the um off the stage. A B nice, gonna miss the hydro pump. Okay, gonna miss the tech. E not uh, punishing him for it though. Okay, that's the second time he uh he neutral got up after missing the tech and then after teching. Let's see if uh E is able to uh, capitalize on that. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, tries to get another one, and I'm not mad. Why not? Why not get another one? Okay. Ooh, that's the second time uh, Venya kind of lands on his shield with a down air, and E was not able to punish it. I'm, I'm starting to wonder if uh, if he can punish that move. Okay, he's going to reset the neutral. going to stuff out his jump with a bear. Ooh, ooh. Okay. And another down air. E coming in clutch. These down airs are kind of coming. Coming in from my man E. It's you almost, see he's practicing these. It's almost like that up B was like an intentional whiff to make him think he could recover uh -huh. right away. And just like, no, I actually yeah. accounted for I'm this. I'm still here. My <laughs> calculations. <laughs> Ooh, down tilt to fair. The bread, the butter. Both stocks have been taken. Both stocks by Venya have been taken by down tilt to fair. Both stocks by E have been taken by a down there. Let's see what, uh, let's see who's going to win this final exchange. Last hit. Uh, winner's bracket stock for E right now. All right, right now Venny is trying to make this a 2-0. Okay. Woo! Off the stage Careful. again. Good take. Oh, oh he doesn't have a jump. Good. All okay. right, able to get to the underside of the water of the hydro pump. All right, used his jump on the water. Made sure that he could get a clean recovery there. Okay. Oh, brave. He's brave. Good job by E. He's being very patient, though. He understands yeah. that kill percent. There's a lot of things that Venya could touch him with that can kill oh him. Oh, my God. That almost killed him there. That fair. Okay. Going to slow down. Going to play this neutral once again. Okay. Wow. Hitting with a very late hit of that back air. Yeah. He needed that. Because if he whiffed, that would have put him oh, in a yeah. really bad situation. All right. Nice. Slide cancel. F tilt. Going to put him off the stage. Near. That hitbox so big. All right. I like the idea of Venya trying to read a jump there to just, like, seal it out. Okay, down there, going to cover all the area behind him, and that fair going to put Venya in a bad situation. And you're, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Yo, E is a savage. He is a savage. My man E coming back on Venya with that back air. That's exactly that what he needed. That was actually insane. Okay, B versus Yo, and nah. that's why he used his jump already. Boom. Nice. Oh my God. That was that was ridiculous. And you can see that's exactly when he initiated. Uh, hydro pump has, if that's what that move is called, I'm assuming. A B? Uh, that would be. Yeah, hydro pump. So a hydro pump has a, a good amount of startup frames. So if you could catch him, there's no iframes on it. So that's exactly what he did. Timed it really well and hit him right at the startup of uh, of hydro pump. Ooh, and he is brave. He throwing out aerials, coming down, and throwing out more, like, aerials, dropping through platforms, not even sending shield. Usually with characters like Greninja, who have good out-of-shield options, you kind of want to, uh, you throw out your aerial. If you're too close, you want to sit in shield, see if you can block something. Nah, E is pressing these buttons. Okay, here we go. That fair going to uh, kind of keep him at bay. Nice. Okay. Gonna get the grab, and, and you can see E, uh, his continence is uh, like if you see in the uh, player cam, when when he's playing neutral, he kind of like focuses in, and when the neutral is broken, mm -hmm. if he loses it or if he wins it, just like there, you can see him kind of readjust himself, and then kind of like move on to the next play, which is really good. Oh, look at that back air going so he, he can cover so many options on reaction. If you go low, he just drops down with the back air. You go high, he just jumps in back airs. And if you don't do anything, he's just gonna back air you outright. So Greninja's really good at, uh, at putting you in situations that are like really bad. Really bad situations. <laughs> okay, dash attack. Oh, he still had to jump. I was wondering why he went so, so low. Hey, good patience by E, man. Good patience. He understands the options that uh, Venya has. He understands that he's probably not going to go all the way down here and throw out a hitbox, so he can wait. He's not air dodging. He's not trying to swing. Just waiting it out, which is what you have to do against um, a character who has a move like Hydro Pump that can get you so easily. Something I would like to see when Venya does those like offstage Hydro Pumps yes. is that when E is expecting him to do it, and then he, he kind of, for lack of a better term, rides the wave, right? <laughs> 
Um, I would like to see if Benio could like do a fake out and make him think that he would do it where he kind of has E hang himself, where he makes it too far for him to reach. Yeah. And like Hydro Pump's like far away and around. Oh, that's interesting. You know, because he like, can like, cover be a, a lot of risky, distance. Though. He can cover a lot of distance, though. That's that's kind of what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, if he can just, like, do it in a... I'm going to I'm gonna tell him about it later. Maybe maybe I'm talking out of my ass, but we'll nice see. Nice left <laughs> back here. And this is what we like to see. Game 3, 0-0, zero, zero, final stop. Yeah. This is where the boys become men. Let's see who's going to come out on top. My guy E saying that 20% has been yet at the ledge. Oh, going to let him back. He's going to jump over his aerials. As you see here, okay, nice dash attack, two up smash. Going to put him at 52. That's a lot of damage for a combo like that. And the frame traps, yes. The blender is here. Not going to be enough. Up smash, and Venya's cooking right now. He's in the kitchen. Hasn't been touched since that first exchange. Here we go. He's still in disadvantage. How do you make it back? There's a lot going on right now. And I don't like that uh, shield break. Could have been punished. And if, even if you broke the shield, you weren't going to kill him. And that pivot grab. Oh my god. Ooh. Nice. He understands. He's been a, he's this is not E's first rodeo. He understands what Venya wants. He's gonna shield that shadow sneak. Okay. Nice. Venya thought he made it back to the middle of the stage. Woo! Okay. I can see that potentially killing on another stage. That might be it. Yeah, yeah that it is. is. Definitely it. The stuff. E is all you can. Although you don't really see it, he is not happy about that. No. He knew. He knew he could make that comeback. For sure. So we got Benio waiting in Winterside Grand Finals. Yes. Uh, 